little Lovely pussy cat. Yeah, yeah, little pussy cat. I don't, I don't go full out on Halloween. <laughs> I've got to admit, I don't go full out. But so I have made the effort. I have got the ears on. Why don't you go full out on Halloween? Do you know what? It's all the makeup. I don't, it's the fake blood in that. It's all sticky. I don't like that type of stuff, you know. Bit of winged like eyeliner, bit of ears. That's Wait until you see that your Love Island colleagues. They have gone oh, all out. Oh, God. I can't deal Laura with it. It literally... actually scares me. But Laura hasn't gone creepy. She's got a mermaid. Beautiful. Really? Yeah. It actually scares me. They're all the fake blood in that. So, do you regret staying loyal so much on TV? Because everyone's saying it to you all the time now. No. Do you know what? I don't regret it, to be honest. Because everyone does say it to me. It's like my little, my little word, isn't it? Because it's been um, known for something though, right? Yeah, exactly. And I don't think it could be worse things to be known for at the end of the day. So, no, I quite like it. I don't mind it. So we've got lots of Love Island fans. Can you tell us what's been going on? Are you OK? Yes, I am very, very, very OK. I'm so happy. I've got a little flat in Essex now. I've made little friends around my area. I'm loving to, like seeing all the Love Island people here as well. Like, it's so, so nice. And yeah, completely different change of lifestyle from being a shop girl. But I'll be honest with you, I couldn't be happier and I feel so lucky. It must be difficult to, you know, have all this press and stuff, yeah. especially when you go through a hard time. Yeah. All on social media. Oh, don't go there. Yeah, everything's on social media. My whole life's on social media, hun. Do you know what I mean? So can we see you stepping away from that or are you going to embrace it? Uh, embrace it, I think. Yeah, definitely. I think that's something that comes with the job. Uh, I want to be an entertainer. I love entertaining. I think I've always done it ever since I was walking. So it's just part of the job, really. You've got to accept it, haven't you? So, so ideal gig then? Yes. What is it? My ideal gig? I don't know, you know. Anything, really. I quite enjoy any opportunity that I get given. I throw myself in there. We love seeing you on children's TV. Oh, Those little clips you? went oh, everywhere. How embarrassing. I know. Six years old. It was so cute. Six years old I was on them. Love Crazy. it. Crazy. So embarrassing. So if anyone wants to know, Sam, yeah. done? Yeah, happy? done. Very happy with um, not being together yet. It was better for me, and I think it was a long time coming, and yeah, couldn't be happier. Single Pringle. And what about the other Love Islanders? Have you seen them? Are you going to uh, see them? Danny, I see a lot. She comes around a few times. I'm close. Obviously, I think everyone knows the friendship that I had with the girl on the telly. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I see her a lot. But I'll be honest with you, I'm so busy. Like, every single day, I'm doing something. I've obviously been doing loads of PA, so I've been travelling around the country doing crazy stuff. But, um, also, I've got meetings here, there, and everywhere. All the opportunities coming in and out. Like, it's just, it's mental. Um, so, when I've got time to myself, I'll be honest with you, I do want to link up with my old friends, the friends that, that were my friends at school, my, my old friends. Um, so, I've seen them a lot. But because I haven't had much time, I haven't really been able to go out with Love Island people. But I feel like now, obviously, maybe things might calm down a bit and I'll be able to make more time. So, best and worst things come out of Love Island? Best thing is got a really good mate, didn't I out of it, um, and what a life changer. Yeah, like, anything. Absolute. And worst thing is negative, you can get negative things, but without the negative you don't realise the good, so that's what I tell myself every day babe. Do you know Are you I mean? reading comments or do you just shut yourself No, you know, I don't really to be honest, um, I read all the good comments, the, I'm quite, I'm quite tough skinned let's say, I've been brought up to be a tough skinned girl and things like that, they don't bother me. I'm like, all right, babe, you have your opinion, do you know what I mean? Just finally, can you give us your loyalist quotes into the camera? Loyalist quote, I'm loyal, babe. <laughs> Thanks, darling, Thank girl, you, see babe. you. Thank you, guys, very